Good evening, Atlanta. I'm Clay Pender, reporting live from Albuquerque, New Mexico. You guys have submitted some questions, and I'm here to bring you the answers. Biggest difference between altitude training and sea level training? It's gotta be patience. Definitely the pace of this, specifically on the long run. I'd say just how much you need to hydrate. You need to hydrate more at altitude. Ooh, I would say the most fun aspect is probably being able to do everything together, building camaraderie, building some friendship, and also having uh, team meals. It just makes the sort of everyday training routine, um, you know, a hundred times more fun. Well, I love sharing a room with Clay Pender, and I love the energy out in the morning. Everyone's just sipping coffee, getting ready for the workout. Biggest challenge, I mean, is just sharing space, you know, but we're, we're real good about it. Probably making sure there's enough coffee in the coffee pot each and every day for all of us. The hardest thing about living with everyone is just all the fridge space and coordination in the kitchen because we're all hungry all the time because we're all training. But one of the most fun things has been just like being, living the same lifestyle as so many different ladies with the same passions and the same drive and the same discipline. And it's just been fun um, being able to do that with everyone. Outside of running, what do we like to stay competitive in around the house? Pool, undoubtedly. I have had a few tournaments, played lots of games, and had a few friendships growing over pool. Yeah, we get competitive in pool. We all do the uh, crossword together, do Sudoku. Uh, I feel like pool, you're more competitive against yourself than the other other people, just because, you know, it's, it's frustrating, obviously, if you're not on your game, but the crossword, I think we, we work together, but for me, it's, it's still a competitive thing to see how fast we can do it. Yeah.